Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about canceling pre-orders and how it is now happening. I've heard many stories from you. Uh, you pre-ordered, you know, X fat packs, maybe a case of fat packs, and now there is quote unquote a shortage of fat packs. And this might be from your local store. This might be from eBay. I do not trust eBay one bit. Um, and that's because I've had experiences before ordering Modern Masters 1. I put a larger pre-order on one of, you know, I'm not going to tell you who is, but it is a bigger store and they canceled my pre-order after prices of the boxes. So boxes in the beginning, because no one knew what Modern Masters 1 would be like, but then it became very apparent that the price of these boxes were like getting very high, very fast. And then all of a sudden all the pre-orders were like done. And that could be the same for a single card. That can be the same for a box, a fat pack. I think that's what's happening right now with fat packs. There seems to be a lack of fat packs um, in the open market. Already fat packs have been, uh, some of the pre-order prices have gone up and they've been canceled, all that stuff. So I'll speak about why, who I pre-order from. I only pre-order from local stores in Houston who, because that way they value their reputation. So I, I think that is an important piece uh, of the puzzle is if you're ordering, if I'm ordering from a store in Massachusetts, assuming I don't have a YouTube channel course, then who's really going to know that they pre -order, they canceled my pre-order and screwed me over? Yeah, I could go on Facebook, I can go on social media, but it's the same thing when I'm talking about Magic Origins. I kind of want to do an experiment with Magic dual origins because the program has essentially eaten my I paid for cards and or coins and it has destroyed my things so and destroyed all my decks and my progress so I want to see what the customer support would be like from Wizards of the Coast in particular magic duels after sending emails and stuff like that but that's the same with a store but some stores don't care and these stores are mainly online only stores. So they cancel a pre-order here, a speculation goes, a card goes up in price. All of a sudden the, the speculation, you know, it's gone. The person's like, no, no more money for you. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> and that happens a lot. People cancel pre-orders. They cancel pre-orders for cards. They cancel pre-orders for cases and they cancel pre-orders for fat packs. The worst case scenario, in my opinion, is when they pseudo cancel a pre-order, when they take your money, don't give your money back, your money's locked up for a very long period of time, and by the way, we don't have the fat packs for you. And there's a store in Buffalo, New York, I'm not gonna call them out, but they got called, they got in trouble for this. They were, I uh, think like a comic book store, even the store in Groovy Geckos, because pre-ordering, is difficult to do because you have to have employees who care enough to ship it on time, who track it. I mean, I've got pre-orders where, I, for lack of a better term, like I, I don't know what was going on because they sent the wrong fat packs. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm pre-ordering the new set. Why are you sending me like old stuff? And then like you get a letter that says, hey, we're replacing these fat packs with other fat packs we have. And I was like, no, this is not how it works. So pre-ordering eBay, I don't like it. Um, that's personal. That's my personal t perspective on it. So that's not to say everyone shouldn't pre-order on eBay. There's plenty of really great stores on eBay. I'm not going to do it. I don't ever do it. I pre-order locally. I pick up my fat packs locally. So I physically go in the store, talk, hang out a little bit, and then pick up the fat packs. And at the end of the day, if it's fat packs, it's booster boxes, I have... People are there at that time on that Friday and then I'm just like, oh, you know, you do you want to open a fat pack? Some people have never opened a fat pack before. Some people have never opened a booster box before. I've opened a lot and I don't like opening them to be honest with you. So when you have younger or newer players or even older players, they just like opening stuff. And I've never been that way. So like I'm opening my stocking tiger and it's like, oh, okay, great. Awesome, we get to open that. but. I've never felt like it was necessary for me to open magic cards, to be honest with you. So I like to share that experience with newer players. And I do this at my locals, which I love. And people know I do it. I some, Sometimes I come on Saturdays. It depends. Um, it kind of depends on like my feeling that night. 
I don't know, oh, it kind of depends on, um, so Friday, because that last Friday wasn't the Saturday, I have to spend time with uh, friends that Friday night, so it kind of, it depends, right? Anyway, um, I would say pre-ordering, if, if Europe, you pre-order something from Europe, South America, the US, and you had a good price and they canceled it, leave a comment below what store it is, because I don't feel that that's right. I feel like that's actually very bad practice and you know, maybe I'll make a video, like I have subscribers, I'll make a video like listing all of them and like, and obviously like you can PM me evidence would be nice as well. But there's that one store in Buffalo that got caught, they got called out pretty badly. And yeah, maybe I'll share that with you guys. Not this week, but next week. Bye guys.